Hello, this is the Hero Fails. I am here today to show you how to get your Minecraft working inside of Windows 8 without the constant crashes. So there are basically three steps. The first two are rather simple. Actually, all of them are simple. The first two are kind of common sense uh, for people who know much about computers in general. The first step is to make sure that you have Java downloaded and completely up to date inside of Windows 8. Now if you are running a 64-bit operating system, my recommendation is to install both the 32-bit and the 64-bit versions of Java. The reason I suggest this is in the future this allows you to increase your system memory which is available to Minecraft while playing. This is useful if you use a lot of mods such as Tacnic or Tacnic Pack. Uh, this is also useful if you plan on using higher resolutions of texture packs with Minecraft. The second step is to make sure that you have your video card drivers up to date. If you use NVIDIA based card, this is as simple as going to NVIDIA.com, clicking on, or, I'm sorry, mousing over drivers, going to GeForce drivers, and auto detecting your GPU. This will download the latest drivers that are publicly released for your graphics card. You do have the option of clicking on beta and legacy drivers and downloading the beta drivers for the graphics card that you have installed in your system. If you use an AMD graphics card, uh, which I do not, uh, so I'm not as familiar with their site, but you go to amd.com, you click on support and drivers, desktop products if you're using a desktop, and you basically want to find your video card in the mess that is AMD's websites. Once you have your drivers updated, you will more than likely have to restart Windows, which should be no surprise, Windows always needs a restart. Uh, once you have those two programs installed, go ahead and launch Minecraft. I am using the Technic launcher, uh, so your Minecraft will look a little bit more standard unless you're using Technic. Go ahead and log in because the third step is actually inside of Minecraft. Okay, once you have Minecraft open, you're going to click on Options, click on Video Settings, and the setting you want to change is the Render Distance. Now you want this set to Normal, not Far or Close or any other setting, just Normal. And as far as the rest of the settings on this page, you know, feel free to set them however you choose. Uh, you can copy my settings, you can do whatever you want to there. Now you may not have as many options if you're not running TechIt or Technic or Volts or you have not installed the mods to allow you to run uh, texture packs with higher resolutions. So once you have that set, go ahead and click on Done. Click on Done once more and go ahead and load up your game. Now once your game is loaded, hopefully you will see Minecraft launch the way it's supposed to and you'll be able to play without crashes or any other glitches that stop you from having a good time. Now that's it as far as setting up Minecraft to work flawlessly inside of Windows 8. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comments section. And have a great day.